Hey there, Morgan now integrates with Notion, making it easy to plan, track, and time block your Notion tasks right into your calendar. Today, I wanna to show you five things I've done to make my Notion and Morgan combo a seamless time blocking experience. Tip number one, only import tasks that I likely wanna to add to my calendar. When I set up my integration, not only do I pick pages, that should sync with Morgan, but I can also decide which tasks to add to Morgan. So for example, when I connect my database here, there are going to be some instances where there are different people that belong to different tasks inside the database. So in this instance, I can mark it so that I only want to see tasks that are assigned to myself and not for the people on my team. So I'm gonna to choose to only import those tasks assigned to me based on this property. That way, what I see over here on this task list in Morgan are all tasks that I wanna plan and schedule in my calendar. Number two, we can choose how I want tasks to be displayed. So at the top of my task manager, you can open the task menu here and you can decide how your tasks should be grouped and sorted. For instance, I wanna see my Notion tasks grouped by something like different project types or by priority. So for example, I have mine set to priority here, so it's grouped into different priority categories. And then on top of that, I can sort them and order them by my time property, which is essentially my due date. So in here, inside of my high priority tasks, you'll see that the ones for today are showing up here and then the ones for tomorrow are after. I can also adjust that if I wanted to do the opposite with the sending or otherwise, but I like doing ascending, showing the earliest ones first. I like this setup because it helps me see what to schedule next but you can tweak it to work for you. You can also decide which Notion properties you want to see as tags for key details visible at a glance. This can include blockers, due dates, priority levels, and more. I like to make those properties that inform my scheduling like due dates and priority levels always visible. But if I wanted to get rid of them, I could always click on these tags. These time labels, I can click none or show all. And it's just a nice way to adjust things visually inside of Morgan. The way you configure your tasks will apply to all your Notion databases. You can jump between databases using the drop-down selector at the top of your task manager here. And the next tip that I'm gonna dive into is that due dates and due dates are different and both important. So essentially what I did there was due dates being D-U-E and then there's D-O, dates. In Morgan, we can consider the time when you work on tasks to be different from when those tasks are required to be done, AKA DUE do. Sometimes you may wanna work on a task well in advance of when it's due, or you may need multiple work sessions to tackle it. What this means inside of Morgan is that when you schedule a task in your calendar, that is considered the time to work on that task. It will not impact or change the due date set in Notion. As you can see here, if I were to move this task over to this side, the time property, which is my due date, doesn't change inside of Notion. It's still today, not tomorrow. If you wanna keep an eye on what is coming due, you can opt to have a today and upcoming list visible at the top of your task manager. So inside of here, you can either enable or unenable those items here, or I like having them on, so I'm gonna keep them on there. So as you can see right here, by clicking on today, that's obviously what tasks are due today. Then for the upcoming section, these filters are based on the due dates. So for the upcoming due date, it's going to be items that are due within the next seven days. If you have no tasks due today or in the next week, you'll notice that the list will not be visible. Tip number four, in your preferences, you can set up some defaults to make time blocking faster. If we open up the preferences menu, at the top of general preferences, you can set up some defaults to make time blocking faster. So instead of having an automatic one, I can set mine to rise productive, which is my main work. That's just for like my basic calendar. And I could also do the same or a different one for my tasks. If you have multiple calendars connected to Morgan, you can set a default calendar for scheduled tasks. Mine is personally set to this rise productive calendar. And then for the default overall calendar, I'm gonna pick meetings because that's a little bit different, right? I'm getting tasks done versus I'm setting meetings. Rise Productive is then in my company. It's my general work calendar, which is where most of my tasks are scheduled. I can always reassign a scheduled task to another calendar when relevant, but those are my defaults. If others have permission to see your calendar, you can choose whether you want your scheduled tasks to be visible to others or to keep the details of those tasks private. 
you can always override this in each scheduled task. As you can see right here, by clicking on this, I can adjust this from being public to private so that others can see or not see the information on these. And you can decide whether scheduled tasks should be marked as busy or free as a default. Once again, for everything that I'm referencing, this can be done in the front end manually on your calendar, but you can adjust between private and public on preferences, as well as the transparency for busy or free. I usually keep mine private and busy. I recommend making them busy, but you know, you can always change this. And tip number five is gonna be that some tasks require more than one work section. Once you've scheduled the first time block in your calendar, you can copy it with Command C. So for example, as you can already see, I have this task right here, and I have a feeling that I'm gonna need some more time with it. So I can find another time slot for later in the week, and I can click somewhere and then paste it out. One important note is that if you schedule multiple work sessions for one task, in order for it to be considered complete, you'll need to mark the task from your task manager complete. Only then will it relay it to Notion, the task is closed and updated status. If you discover other tips to make time blocking your Notion tasks in Morgan a great experience, please share them here. You can also get more tips for time blocking in Morgan from this video as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.